Hey Sioux Falls, Shannon Austin here. We're halfway through the summer and we have major updates on our major projects for you today. So stay tuned. Our first project stop today is on North Minnesota Avenue from Russell Street down to 2nd Street. Now it's been a little while since we've been out here, but oh my Pat, there has been a lot of advancement on the project. Yeah, so the right now we're done with all the underground utilities on the east side of the road. Okay. So now we're working on, or I'm sorry, the west side of the road. Now we're putting the concrete paving in there, so hopefully here in another couple weeks we'll be making another huge traffic switch and put traffic over on that west side of the road. Wonderful. I love the smell of fresh concrete. <laughs> it's a good day. Yeah, so um, paving all the way then from Russell Street all the way to Second, you think this right now? Yes, we should finish it today. Okay. Uh, they've got a really good start. As you can see them in the background here, they've got a really good start to the day, so they should be able to finish it today. And then how long does that concrete have to just sit there and get its strength? We have been getting strength on that concrete in about three days. Okay. Where we can then we can get on it and start driving it, but we still got to put all the driveways in, all the sidewalk and stuff in behind it. So oh, okay. That's what's okay. going to take a couple weeks to get traffic back over there. Okay. So then, once the traffic actually goes to the east side of the road, then are there are there any additional utilities or not? Yeah, the the east side of the road there's a 12 inch water main on that side of the road, and we got to do some storm sewer work. So. There's a lot less, but there is an underground utility okay. work. So there'll still be a lot of work going on then. Yeah, and the underground utility work, we, we've got a traffic switch between Brookings and Bailey Street. So we are working on the underground utilities from Bennett to Bailey, that street down okay. there. Okay, okay, good. So has it been moving along quite well? Yeah, you yeah. know, the contractors are working as hard as they can. You know? Yeah, well, every time I drive by there, there just seems to be multiple locations of, of backhoes and of trucks, and so there's a, they're really working hard. Yeah, you know, it. The, the, with the amount of underground utilities here, we had five underground crews here at one time when we were in the heat of the west side there. There's less on this side, but we're still going to have two or three underground crews here once we get the traffic switched on. Okay, very good. So how have the business owners been? Are they frustrated or have you guys have been keeping access open to them? I mean, tell us a little bit about the relationship with the business owners. Yeah, the business owners have been great out here, you know. We've been trying to communicate with them the best we can to try and keep as many access points as we can open. Obviously, when we start doing con big concrete paves, they're gonna lose a driveway here or there, you know, yeah. to, to get into. But we're gonna try and get them back in there right away on Monday when we get hopefully get strength on the concrete. And great. So at least they see progress going on. Then. That's right. Yeah, very good. Um, anything you wanna, as far as in this next month, then any other? So there'll be a change of traffic then, likely at the end of July, moving over to the new concrete. Yes. Okay. Yep. That'll be the big milestone of the, of the next month there. Okay. But then, you know, we'll transition straight into um, trying to get the underground done on that other side of the street. So. Okay. So, reminder of viewers, overall completion of the project is planned for still... Is it Middle of November. Middle of November. And it looks like right now we're going to meet that? We should, yes. Absolutely. Uh, anything else you want to tell our viewers about the project? Any other new stuff for... Just got to keep going. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we need to get her done. <laughs> all so. right. Well, thanks so much for your time. Absolutely. Well, our next project update is on Cliff Avenue from 49th Street to 56th Street. Now you don't really see what goes on because the road is actually closed to traffic, but for those of us that are on Cliff Avenue turning on the detour, a lot of trees have been gone. So <laughs> yeah. Ross, what's been what's been going on? We haven't been out here for a while, so give our viewers an update of where the contractor sits today. Okay, so all of the tree removals, pavement removals is pretty much complete. All of the new water main, new storm sewer, uh, the little bit of sanitary sewer repairs have been complete also. Wonderful. So, Essentially, we're ready to start, you know, the grading, the bulk of the grading work, and then we'll be paving here shortly. So the grading is probably a lot of the work because we have to add a little bit of width onto Cliff Avenue, right? Yeah, that's correct, especially towards the north end. There's a large embankment, uh, quite a bit of fill that needs to go in there. So that'll be kind of where the bulk of the grading work is for the next couple of weeks yet. So then has there been a lot of, I mean, trucks coming in has it been dusty i mean have, has uh, rain slowed you at all or not uh, it, it has been dusty it's been a dry windy summer it seems like you know the the few rain events we have had have been pretty heavy ones uh but there's been few of an, few enough of them where it really hasn't impacted the schedule okay um overall so i think right now we're sitting uh pretty well on track with what the uh, original contractor schedule was oh great so once we get the embankment done then, and with the utilities pretty much complete, then you just start getting ready for grading and curbing gutter and paving then? Yeah, so, oh, wonderful. so there's the, the grading work uh, to you know, fine tune everything that's out here. And then there's a cement stabilization process on this project, which is a little different than some others. 
Um, but yeah, essentially once that cement stabilization is down, they'll bring in some aggregate base course and then they'll be ready to pave. So on this cement stabilization, we've seen it on other projects and it's like, it's a white material, right? Yeah, so it's just a white cement powder uh, that's in incorporated and mixed into the top 12 inches of the dirt um, in the subgrade. And then it gets watered and recompacted and it turns into just a really stable base um, you know, that allows the contractor to continue you know, their truck traffic and equipment traffic on it okay. um, and holds up really well uh, long-term conditions as well. Okay, so we just pave right on top of that then? Uh, there will be just a thin layer of gravel that okay. goes on on top of that, but then essentially, yeah, okay. just pave on top of the gravel then. Uh, I know school starts the end of August. Are we anticipating that we'll have a couple lanes open to traffic by the end of August still? Yes, yep, that's the plan, and I think we're still you know, on good schedule to, to complete that. Uh, at least two lanes of traffic. Okay. Um, and that'd know. be east, one northbound and one southbound, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. One in each direction by, you know, middle of August and okay. before school starts. And then final completion of the overall project is still when? I can't remember. Uh, final completion is in November. Okay. Uh, so there will still be a lot of work to get done. They have to pave the other lanes of traffic, you know, a lot of restoration work with driveways and sidewalks and that sort of thing. So they'll still be out here for a while, but at least we can open open the road up to traffic and okay. get the through travelers back well it's on certainly it. going to be it's certainly going to look different from the dri drivers yes. when even from the property owners because so many trees you know the trees are the biggest thing that we had big huge ash trees of course that we took out yep. in advance of the ash borer so that's good but on the flip side there were nice trees too yeah so. there, there were nice trees and yeah. You know, unfortunate they had to go, but yep. um, I think in the long run it'll be, you know, best for the city as a whole. So very good. Well, thank you very much for your time, and we'll go on to our next project. All right, thank you, Shannon. So we are out here on Arrowhead Parkway and Six Mile Road, where there's just a lot of dirt being moved. We welcome back Chris. Chris, we haven't been out here for a couple of months. It just looks like there's still a lot of dirt being moved. Yes, there is. <laughs> so what, what has the contractor accomplished in this last month? Uh, and most of the utilities along the west side of Arrowhead here have been installed and completed. Okay, good. Um, including Six Mile Inn, too. Uh, they're all completed. And then they're just, so is Six Mile then pretty well graded out? And then when do you think they'll start actually paving? Six Mile Road? Uh, they're hoping to start paving next end of next week sometime. So sometime in probably towards the end of July? Yep. Okay. So we had a recent closure on Arrowhead, and but I know there's a larger closure on Arrowhead coming up. Tell us a little bit about that. Yep. Uh, we're, so we're planning on closing that here in the next couple of weeks, I believe, and we'll have a 55-day uh, working day period to uh, get all the utilities and stuff done and kind of ready to go for the public to start driving on the road again. Okay, so I think the detour for that is actually, once it's closed by, it'll be east of Willow Run to Six Mile Road, right? So the detour is on 26th Street, is that right? Yes. Okay, so that'll be a lot of, a lot of our Iowa folks will be impacted by that. Yep. But we'll still maintain access to Willow Run? Yep. yep. Okay, good, very good. Um, so as far as the rest of the project goes, is the contractor pretty much on on schedule do you think for the most part yeah um, we, we do have a little catching up to do but they're for the most part on schedule right now yeah it's just hard to see progress because there's just so much grading going on but yep. but that's progress right yep a lot of underground work right now yeah yeah and then remind our viewers um, when the final completion of this project is uh, the final date is November 23rd I believe uh um, and then we'll come back next year to do more work too? Yep, okay, yep. cool. All right. All right, well, thanks so much for your for your update today. Thank you. So we're out here at 41st Street and Sycamore Avenue in my neck of the woods, and this project has certainly got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, what's the contractor working on right now? Well, they're working on removals in what we call phase 1B, which is kind of the second phase of the intersection. And then after that, they'll start working on the utilities that we have in that uh, uh, phase and then follow up behind that with the grading and paving and as we move around through the intersection. So that's kind of, it's a slow process then that, mm -hmm. isn't it? To just move around from quadrant to quadrant. Yes. Because it looks like there's not a lot going on, but there, but there is, it just doesn't look like it. Yes, it doesn't look like it until you're doing paving, but there's a lot, especially this first phase, there's a lot of underground that had to go in, a lot of private utilities that had to be adjusted and moved around that, uh, 
added complication to this phase that we're not expecting to see in the subsequent phases. So those subsequent subsequent phases should really go faster then, right? They should be. Okay. They should be faster. So then I love the fact that Sycamore to the south has been milled and overlaid. Mm -hmm. uh, when can we expect to see those same improvements on the north side of Syc or north of uh, 41st Street on Sycamore? Well, 33rd and Sycamore is going to be uh, completing here shortly. They're working on some of the concrete ramps. Um, they will be doing, the current plan is they will be doing the milling and overlay of the north mile after they've finished the, the second phase of the intersection because okay. then the north half of the intersection will be done and then they can mill uh, from that place for up to the north. Okay, so it's moving forward, just not as fast as maybe some of our drivers would like. We're getting a lot, a lot of things done here that we had as a part of the project. The intersection doesn't uh, give us the best impression of how much right. work is actually being right. done. Very good. Okay, well, thanks so much for your update today, and we will look forward to our next visit. Thank you. All right, well, our last stop today is at the intersection of 41st and Marion Road. We haven't been out here for a little while, so there's certainly a lot that's changed. We welcome back Eric, who's our project manager from Infrastructure Design Group. Eric, there's pavement finally, so yay. Is, do you think that a lot of people are excited to see that pavement? Yeah, it's definitely a smoother ride than what it was on the old 41st Street. Absolutely, <laughs> and is it just two lanes then that they're driving on, or is there three? Two with turn lanes at Terry, Marion Road. You know what, so there's three in places, but they're okay. still working on the south side. So. Okay, so then the when they're, all the removals are happening on the north side, is there a lot of utility work on that north side than a 41st Street? About as half as much on the south side. There isn't okay. sanitary sewer and there isn't water main, just storm sewer on the north side. Okay, so theoretically it should go a little bit faster? Quite a bit faster. Of course, really, this has gone really fast anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably not from you that's yeah. been out here every day, but from a driver that's been just driving yeah. through, there's been a lot of prog progress. So. Yep. So right now, Marion Road on the south side of 41st Street is open. Uh, on the north side, though, is closed, right? Yep. And how long will that be closed? Till the middle of August. Okay. And then once that is open, what's what's really there to do after that? The finish 41st Street. Marion Road will be a priority, then 41st Street, and then wrap it up for the year on this, the east side of the, or west side of the interstate. Okay. So then they won't be doing they won't be jumping over onto the east side of Interstate 29. Or we no. don't know that yet? Maybe a little bit on the off streets on the Gun Shirley or something, but nothing okay. major okay. on 41st. So how's the drivers been? Have they been slowing down through the construction zones? Yeah, for the most part. I don't notice too many speeders. Good. You know, the traffic tends to slow them down. Yeah. And it is, are we, are they, is it still pretty backed up through the peak hours in the morning and the a.m. and the p.m.? The evening's worse than the morning. Is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah it gets pretty busy at 5 to 6 and then after that other middle of the day is not too bad okay very good um so this project also has its own uh website the dot has a website i think it's at 41st street ddi.com i believe and we'll put put that address on uh the screen here but that's certainly information that the drivers can go and, and check out what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis right yep yep and then we also have a video or a live camera that's on the website that everybody can take a peek at. That's where I keep up with your oh. progress is on the video. So um, is there anything else you want to tell our viewers about the project? Um, not really. Just drive safe through here. Pay yeah. attention to the cars in front of you. There's a lot of uh, rear ends because they're looking at construction. Oh, I bet. Yeah, we're, we got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you so much for your time today. You bet. Well, that does it for this show's update on all of our construction projects. So for more information, please go to our website at SiouxFalls.org under Street Construction to stay in tune with all the projects around the city of Sioux Falls. And remember to please give those highway workers a break through the construction zones. Until next time, I'll see you on the streets.